Today I'm gonna show you a 2015 drama romance movie called, Lady Chatterley's Lover, spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins, and we see some workers working in a mine, work was going on in the mine, that's when an explosion happens here. There is a worker named Oliver at this place, who runs away and comes to help the people working in the mine. Due to the blast in the mine, many people get injured here, but a worker named Ted is killed here. When Ted's body is delivered to his home, his wife, Volton, weeps over Ted's death. After this we are shown a party scene. Here we see a beautiful girl named Colin. All the people who came to the party were looking at Colin's beauty. At this party there was a man named Clifford. Clifford comes to talk to Colin. Let us tell you that Clifford is a rich man as well as a soldier. In this party there is another man named Duncan. Duncan feels very jealous on seeing Clifford and Colleen talking, because it really liked Colleen herself. Colleen talks to Clifford here, in the first meeting, both of them fall in love with each other and after a few days they also get married. At the time of marriage, both of them promise each other to be together forever. After marriage, Colleen and Clifford's life was going very well. A few days later Clifford has to go to war, Clifford was with the soldier, that's when a blast happens here. Clifford is injured here because of the blast. Clifford was injured so it is sent home. Colin was also eagerly waiting for Clifford. When Clifford comes home, he is unable to walk on his feet here because due to being injured in the war, the entire part of Clifford's waist was paralyzed. Clifford was deeply saddened by his condition. That's why he goes to the room saying thanks to everyone here. Colin is also deeply saddened to see Clifford in this condition. Clifford was about to commit suicide by coming to his room. That's when Colin comes to him. Colin prevents Clifford from committing suicide, and says, that I will love you always the way you are, and I'll take good care of you too. Clifford calms down after listening to Colin. Next we see Oliver, who had now stopped working as a mine, so Oliver comes to Clifford for work. When Clifford finds out, that Oliver previously worked in its mine company, so Clifford hires Oliver. One day Clifford goes with Colleen to visit Oliver, because Oliver lived in the woods, Oliver used to look after the birds here. Colleen is here seeing Oliver for the first time. Clifford talks to Oliver here but Colin was looking at Oliver as if she had fallen in love with Oliver. The next morning, Colin wakes Clifford to take a bath. But as the support breaks, Clifford comes over Colin, injuring Colin in his groin. Colin was hurt, so today one of its maid Volton brings Clifford to the bath. Walton tells Clifford, that Colleen doesn't love you, she only loves your money. Colleen overhears Walton's talk. Colin tells Clifford, that you don't listen to Walton because she is lying to you so that we can be separated from each other. But Clifford doesn't pay much attention to Colleen's words here and says, that I want to be fine like before. The next day Colleen comes to give Oliver the keys to his room. Colleen tries to talk to Oliver here, but Oliver angrily talks to Colleen, because of which Colleen leaves from here. The next day Colleen receives a letter, which Oliver sent. Oliver spoke angrily to Colleen yesterday, so Oliver apologizes to Colleen through the letter. In the evening, Colleen comes to visit Oliver. Colleen hides behind the bushes here and starts watching Oliver. When Colin comes to Oliver, Oliver then becomes very nervous when he sees Colin approaching him. Colin wants to talk to Oliver, but Oliver begins to ignore Colleen's words, because of which Colleen gets angry at Oliver and starts leaving from here, that's when it starts raining here. Colin has to come to Oliver's house because of the rain. Oliver kindles a fire here, Colin tries to talk to Oliver, but Oliver gets up and walks away, Colin invites Oliver to her but Oliver doesn't come to Colin. Now the rain had stopped, so Colin goes to her house. At night, Colin considers physical with Clifford, but Clifford stops Colleen, and says, that it can't get physical with it, because now it will never be able to please Colin. The next day Colin brings Clifford to the doctor. The doctors here try to fix it by giving Clifford an electric shock. This causes Clifford a lot of pain and he screams. Colin when he hears